Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I live in northern Canada where it's cold near the North Pole. And I love it. It's warm inside. We are at minus three today, which is balmy for us uh, in the middle of winter. No, it's not the middle of winter. Winter has just begun. Uh, last night we they dropped a the universe dropped a foot of snow on us and this morning it's rain. Yeah. But okay. Let's get on with your reading. Uh, you could do me a great deal of help if you click the like and subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment so that I can get to know you better because I would truly like to get to know you better. Here is your weekly reading. I don't time stamp them now because you could come across this five months from now and it still apply for you. And hopefully most of you will be able to to get something from this reading, even though it's general. <coughs> oh, I beg your pardon. On that note, let's begin. The very first card that came up for you was the fountain. This is a beautiful card. This is the universe downloading um, something to you, knowledge, wisdom, uh, epiphanies. You've obviously gone through a cycle like Everybody else did in 2018. It was kind of a crappy year. But the universe is downloading, either in your sleep or when you're out shopping and all of a sudden it hits you or you meet someone. This is direct. It's almost like lightning. But look at the beauty around it. But I think that's just a beautiful card. The, the infinity symbol is there. So it is coming to you, being downloaded into you what is being prepared for you is something very beautiful. You had the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands sleepless nights, worry, and I think this was more to do with the past because I don't think this is relevant now. If you are having sleepless nights, you're, that's about to end because of the fountain card. It's about to end. And not only that, the three of swords came up in reverse. So this pain that you have recently gone through or heartache is over. It's over. Sleepless nights that you've had over this. It's over. And by the way, speaking of the reason for this and the sleepless nights, there was too much rigidity. Not adhering to what you traditionally, what you are traditionally. It was like um, putting a round peg into a square hole or a square peg into a round hole. There was, it didn't work. It just didn't work. What you're being downloaded with and prepared for, you're going to have a lot of intuition, a lot of intuition, because when you see someone or meet someone, you are going to jump. This could be to do with a job too, or a new project. You're going to jump into it. You have perspective. You see things others do not see. You have the high priestess energy. Even if so-and-so was eh, it just wasn't working. We have the Knight of Wands. This could be you sweeping someone off their feet or someone else coming in to make an offer of love and passion. Uh, I think you've either got your eye on someone that you really want. You're mesmerized by them or someone is mesmerized by you. The King of Swords. Is this you? Is this your energy? 
intelligent, good advice, doesn't like to be crossed. Their answer is the final answer. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But this is a good person to have on your side. And they tell it like it is. It could be professional help as well. It could have something to do with law. But up comes the Four of Wands. Whatever it is, is building, it's going to be building a very solid foundation. And you are either looking at this person or this person is looking at you as marriage material. I'm gonna pull up a, I'm gonna pull up a couple more. Right off the top. Right off the top. Oh my. Here we go. Could be Earth energy uh, here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Nine of Coins. Oh, how beautiful is that? Take a look at that. Is that a pheasant? I think that's a pheasant. Anyway, wishes fulfilled. Nine of coins. You've been working hard. Look at how big that shell is. And it's like a vortex that you're just, what you've built, you've, you're coming out of um, in grand, grand form. Grand form. And the reason why I say it could be earth energy, uh, an earth person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, is because we have the king of coins. Not the knight of coins, who's really slow. This one's already looking at you and going, hmm, that's the one. Or you're looking at them and going, hmm, that's the one. There's some passion in here. Yeah, there's passion. There's a lot of passion. They're really hot for you. Four of Wands, Knight. Oh my goodness. Finally, finally, finally. The Ace of Coins. This is a brand new start that's going to be very successful. Whoever you're hot for, or whoever is hot for you, this is what they have in mind. Let's do something wonderful together. Let's create a stable, solid future, beginning with the foundation. <clears throat> Let's call in your tribe. <clears throat> Pardon me. Calling in the tribe. Calling in Scorpio's tribe, ancestors, what man, what messages do you have for guidance? Help is available to them. You're walking to the beat of your own drum. You see exactly where you want to go. And this journey that you're taking on is going to be beautiful. So your ancestors or guy, uh, guardian angels are helping you to see what you need to see for this journey that you're about to take or have already started. And this is going to be completely different than what you've been used to. This is going to be a whole new symphony orchestra. And you're conducting it. Well done, Scorpio. Well done, because I know you've had a difficult year. Oh, let's see what more spirit guidance. Not from the shamans or the ancestors, but just in general. 
up already. Earth signs coming up again. Uh, I suspect the dreamer is you. Earth signs don't dream well, they, but they go with the flow. I mean, I see someone and they're inspired and they're like, oh, okay, I'm on, I'm on for the ride. Uh, you're the dreamer. You have insight to what you want, what direction you're going to go. And something for 2019 is going to be different, just not your usual Scorpio footsteps. You've grown. You've grown a lot from 2018. So embrace it. Trust yourself. So the, the four of pentacles is, you know, like clinging on to something. Uh, but it also tells you, you know, also, I think in this case, spend wisely before you spend, spend wisely. I don't think that has much to do with being miserly because Scorpios are very generous. I think this more means to watch your resources, spend wisely, and you usually do. It also could mean that you're going to be helping someone less fortunate than you, someone that that has been on your mind, that you're worried about, that you want to help. And finally, the Ace of Pentacles. This new beginning that's been showing up, um, radically different, is going to be prosperous. It's going to start off on the right foot and solid, solid offers coming in, a solid offer coming in. This fountain, this universal help that's going to be downloaded into you or is being downloaded into you, I think has everything to do with that preparation for this. I don't think that decisions need to be made in any way. They've already been made. <sighs> One more. Let's pull up the romance angels. Let's see what they have. Scorpio. I love Scorpio. Oh, here we go. Let your friends help you. Are you being shy? This could have to do with you being shy about approaching someone and you need friends to help introduce you. Or this is about a new project that you want to take on. All this newness and radical changes and walking a different path than what you're used to. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, reconciliation. An old love. You know, when I get this card with others, <clears throat> it's it's like uh, putting the past behind you, healing. And I'm not getting the feeling from this one. I think this is like a mutual starting over. Let's do this a different way. And it's going to be very passionate very passionate it's going to be you're going to fool each other not fool each other but surprise each other like i never saw that in you before and oh my god that's a real turn on this is all going to happen very soon i i feel like it's happening right now but cards say very soon could be today could be tomorrow i think it's happening right now Scorpio, that's your reading for this week. Have a wonderful week. Again, could you click the like button and subscribe and ring the bell, make a comment so that I can get to know you because I'd really like to get to know you better. Um, I'll be back again for another weekly reading and thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. We'll talk soon.